So my class is a class for performance consulting for the training professional. In this class, I will instruct people how to go from um, a needs analysis to deciding whether or not the problems that are being experienced by the business need to be addressed through training or whether there's other ways to be able to deal with the issue of performance, whether it be environmental, personal, or whatever. So what this course sets out to do is to help people to understand that training isn't always the answer and that sometimes um, we need to look deeper into the issue to understand the underlying um, causes of, of performance problems. So um, what I'm doing in this class is if we look at the modules, um, I have five modules in this, in this class and each module builds on the one before. So the first module um, takes people through the um, consulting process and just kind of helps them to understand what performance consulting is and what type of factors impact um, the individual and team performance. Then we go into the second module um, and we talk about um, how what the difference is between the traditional training approach and performance consulting. A lot of times in our jobs, um, people from the business come to us and say that they need a training solution, when in fact, the problem that they're experiencing isn't necessarily a, a knowledge problem, but it's a problem with motivation or um, communication or some other issue. And so it's up to the performance consultant to be able to ask the right type of probing questions to be able to get to the bottom of the issue and address them with the business with an action plan. So what we do in this module is we give people some scenarios where um, they read a scenario, they decide whether or not what, what type of approach is being represented in this particular scenario. And then in the discussion board, they will um, explain uh, what particular method was used and what they would have done differently um, if they were in that position. So um, there are a couple of these. There's actually three in this particular module that um, people will go through to um, kind of understand the difference between the two approaches to um, performance appraisal or performance consulting. Um, and then when we get to the third module, um, we're kind of going through and looking at um, the, the process itself. So um, we take them through this model that explains um, what type of things that you, you need to be probing for um, in your conversation with the business um, and takes you through each of the steps that need to be performed in order to effectively impact performance and provide the information to the business that they need. Each one of these modules will build on the one before. So as they go through these modules, they will have different opportunities to be able to um, look at different case studies and to decide how they would handle it. So this first case study is a very high level explanation of what's going on. Um, it gives enough information that they should be able to ask some good probing questions um, and then describe those in the discussion. Then when they go into the next module, then they'll start to um, perform a needs assessment and putting the pieces together. So um, in this section, we take it through to the next step. So um, we take them through having met with the client and now they've been given more information. And so um, what they're going to do is classify the issues using the Gilbert model. And this is what the Gilbert worksheet looks like. So what they'll do is they'll go through this particular model and fill it out and um, um, and describe whether the problem is environmental um, or knowledge or whatever. Um, and so they'll fill this out with information. And then when they finally get to the end, um, the idea is, is that they will create um, an action plan for the business based on the scenario that I've played out in these examples. And they will have to write a final paper that will include um, their action plan of what needs to be done with the business 
and how they would approach the business with their ideas. And that will be what mod module five will be about.